Hello, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has found himself targeted, given more gallons, tortured, tormented, electrocuted, poisoned, genetically manipulated, microwaved, quantum dots in my brain, who knows what, lots of horrible stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm just, whoa, whoa, making this video uh, to let the world know, whoever cares, that we've moved and are moving again, and here I am, pushing a big shopping cart full of my possessions, uh, almost. Well, not quite. At least I, I have a location to go to. And uh, Petra is there. The lady seems very nice. Uh, two children, a young boy, an older girl. And uh, we have a private entrance, our own little room in the front. Uh, fortunately, it's not very soundproof and whatever, but let's see if we can work on that. Whoa! Whoa! Bumpity bump, bump, bump. Max is in the cage, going to his new home, can we see you in there Maxie? Anyway, and uh, so, you know, it's one of these things where I was so sick the day we were supposed to move, you know, with the migraine headache and the high frequency screaming and the vomiting and the can't move and can't see and can't think. And, so, you know, after much crying and begging and pleading and whatever, the, the guy who we lived with helped us out. He had had some friends come with a truck and they moved a lot of the stuff. Uh, thank God I uh, managed to take enough painkillers so I could actually walk and, and pack and move stuff and I ended up moving all kinds of... <laughs> And you realize when you move that you have way too much stuff. But then when you try to throw it out, you're like, but, but I need this, but, but I might need this, but... And in our case, you know, everything that's dirty jumps on you, and bites you, and hops around and spreads death and pestilence throughout everything. So we're like, oh, no, we didn't have the time this time to try to clean everything before we moved like we did previous moves. Uh, so we just had to shove it all up there, and now we're dealing with the, oh my god, I wish we could have done this differently, but, you know, this guy, he wanted us so desperately out of his life that today, I woke up and he had put all our stuff in the, in the street, basically, uh, in the courtyard, and I started yelling at him. Anyway, I went over, I told him fairly calmly, listen, I, I'm in the right here, and when the police come, they will, uh, tell you the same thing and but you know I don't want to cause any problems for you and your wife and your kid because you're nice people blah 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 and so what I really would like is for you not to treat me like garbage they don't understand uh, well, putting my stuff out here you know pushing me out like this makes me feel like I'm disrespected and I don't want to be disrespected because I don't disrespect you and I guess they understood that um, you know I don't want any of this anger and frustration. And, you know, it, it hurts my heart to see somebody that was uh, jovial and happy and, and laughing and, you know, to be so angry and hateful and hurt it, hurting and, and, you know, and then they do all these stupid things. To, like, they lock the bathroom. I don't know if I mentioned this. They lock the bathroom over and over and... And, you know, in the middle of the night with the lights off, turn off the power, and I'm like, I, I freaked out, and I fell, kind of pushed the door, and fell, and crashed it open, and fell on the floor, and started screaming and yelling, and they called the police on me, and I'm very calmly like, you know, this is what happened, and I said, I have no problem fixing it tomorrow, but, you know, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> anyway, I, I have a real hard time, I'm sorry, Maxie remaining calm at times because I've been tortured and tormented and, you know, one thing after another, after another, after another, and, uh, and 
also my teeth will fall out. Anyway, it, it, you know, you, sleep deprivation for years and rewiring of your brain and whatever else is going on, you know, it's, it takes a toll on you. And one of my main things this time around is that I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to cause problems for anyone. I want to be able to forgive people for the horror that they do and, you know, bless the people who murder me. And, and that's really, 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 really hard to do and mean it. Because um, every time I get angry, I'm like, oh, if only karma would smack somebody around and give them a taste of their own medicine. Like, no, that's not what you're supposed to feel. Loving kindness and forgiveness and compassion and... You know, isn't uh, that, it's something else, and, you know, so it's really hard. I, I found myself, although I've learned to really hate bugs and insects and stuff, and I find myself, like, all, like, geeked out about germs now, and I'm washing my hands a thousand times because of microbes and, you know, all that, but at the same time, and the little bug lands on me or crawls on me. If my first reaction is, ah! And then if I haven't done something stupid, then I pick the creature up and I say, look, I'm sorry. Uh, here, go over here. I put it on a leaf or, you know, try to get it out of my space and into its own world again without causing any death or damage. And, and that's hard, you know, because... Because I've been tortured by it, because I have them eating me alive, because I'm, you know, so I'm, it's really difficult to change your perspective and your actions and your reactions when you're under a constant, uh, anyway, uh, poor Petra is triply, triply wigged because A, she hates moving, disrupts everything, and everything has to be reorganized and all that stuff, and no privacy, and da 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 and uh, she can't find anything, and she has OCD, like compulsive, uh, she wants everything in its place, place for everything, little things in little boxes, and it's wonderful, but, um, you know, she really can't help herself sometimes and like when it's time to do something else she's cleaning something and moving something that we don't anyway and the v2k is consistently distracting her so much that it's almost impossible to have a conversation with her at times because she's so far into the what they're saying and i keep trying to tell her listen the only reason they're doing this to get you to talk and yell back at them is so that a you will self-incriminate and b um, you will uh, yell and scream out loud if people no one else can hear, so they'll all think you're insane. And she's, no, but it's it's technology. And I'm like, yes, you know that, I know that, and a few other people know that. But 99% of the people who are going to see and hear you yelling and screaming about what's going on, you know, are just going to think you're mad. And we want to avoid that because we want to endear people to us and not drive them away. And, no, we, we have a real, she has a, a problem with anger, because I don't blame her, what was done, what's being done is immoral, it's unethical, it's, it's, it's sadistic, it's inhuman, it's, it's criminal, it's, it's, you know, I could go on and on and on, but, um, I met someone, uh, who's actually working, uh, for Freedom for Covert Harassment, from Covert Harassment, trying to, uh, advocate for humanity and make public awareness and it was nice to meet somebody a couple other people who were also targeted and uh, I feel for everybody and anyway thank you for watching I'm sorry to babble and uh, thank you for caring and praying and everything really uh, I pray for everyone who suffers and uh, yeah, God bless you